Sorry I missed you guys last week. A bunch of women want a thing, so I had to spend the week hearing about how unimpressive they are compared to men. But I'm back. A few interesting stories have stacked up in my inbox while I was gone, so we'll start with a recent one. Astute listener Dana pointed me to a Friendly Atheist article about a new video that was recently endorsed by the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps. In the video, a cartoon Iranian lady is shopping in a jewelry store dressed like a slut. By which I mean wearing only a long sleeve shirt with a neckline to the chin, an ankle-length skirt, and an additional cloth covering all the non-face parts of her head. Her eyes, nose, hands, and wrists are naked. Anyway, she looks at a necklace and asks the shopkeeper if the jewels in it are real. He gives her a knowing, mansplaining smile and admits that it's fake. If it had actual value, it would be hard to access. Like her vagina. Get it? No, seriously, that's the message. After that, we see her wearing a full body covering and she says, I realized I had to make a change. Because if she didn't cover her upper lip, she was basically just asking rapists to defile her. Which is not just a fucked up message to send, but it's also a fucked up message to take away from this video. Boobs under a burqa aren't any harder to steal than ones under a shirt. If you took the video to heart, the logical conclusion would be to walk around in an electrified shark cage. Doesn't matter what you're wearing under that. Anyway, I also had a bunch of people share stories with me about my arch nemesis, Lori Alexander, writing on blog post about how godly women have to lose weight if their husbands call them fat. Because apparently she realized there was a type of psychological and sexual abuse she hadn't expressly endorsed yet. But to be fair, I'm pretty sure this is as close as I've ever been to agreeing with her. If Noah called me fat, I'd lose about, oh, 160 pounds a husband, and I wouldn't even need protein shakes for it. But enough about her. There's another bitch I want to rip a new vag into tonight. And that would be Virginia State Senator Amanda Chase, who took to the interwebs to explain rape prevention so poorly that Iranian cartoon got embarrassed. Because according to Chase, the reason women get raped is because they aren't carrying guns. That's right. In the post, she said that women got raped because they were, quote, naive and unprepared, end quote. Then assured people that she was packing heat and therefore unrapeable. Now, don't get me wrong. I can't imagine any way that adding a gun to the situation could make a rape worse, but she's completely ignoring that most rapists are men the victim knows and trusts. So unless she's suggesting women should fire warning shots at all the guys that they don't want to fuck at this time, she's entirely uninformed on how preventing crime works which is doubly scary since basically her entire job is to not be that. And now that you've been reminded why I need a week off from talking about this shit now and again, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 